On November 14th, the Coach House turns 25. I've been a part of 22 of them. Most of those 22 years have been spent in this kitchen, which usually surprises people at how small it is. Small or not, the kitchen has been so many things. First, it was a job that helped me raise a family, a place to develop my flavors and techniques so I can share the way I feel about food. Then it became a place to pass along the techniques and practices I'd learned, a place where I could help young chefs develop and refine their cooking style. Thank you. The Coach House Salad. <laughs> Been here for 25 years. I'm Chris Lauer and I founded the Coach House in 1985. The Coach House was a, a follow-on restaurant to the Roosevelt Grill, my first restaurant that I opened uh, at the ripe young age of 25 uh, in Edmond. That was born out of a, an interest in fine dining, uh, which I discovered I had in college. Loved the idea that a meal could be art, that there could be more to, to eating out than, uh, than just filling your stomach. And uh, so fine crystal, fine china, beautiful silver, beautiful surroundings, the music, the, uh, everything that went along with the experience of, of fine dining just appealed to me. Oh, thank you, Kurt, that looks delicious. The black bean soup. Thank you very much. This is my favorite soup here, but everything here is my favorite. I'm Annie Bohannon. I'm from Oklahoma City, and I've been coming here for 25 years, and my family's been coming here for 25 years, and our grandchildren will be coming here for another 25 years, I'm sure. Well, the table that I'm sitting at is very appropriate because my father-in-law, Judge Luther Bohannon, started coming here when it first opened. He had a driver who would drive him here every day at lunch. And he would come in, he would sit at this table with his driver, and he would order the very same thing every day. Uh, maybe a soup, maybe a little salad, half a martini, and one scoop of vanilla ice cream. This building was a liquor store for, I think it had been here about 19 years. Uh, and they closed in the mid 80s uh, or the early 80s and the building sat empty for about a year. So I, I visited with uh, Dick Coyle, who, who was the managing partner of the plaza, and told him that I thought it would make a great little restaurant. And, and he agreed and was very helpful in, in making that happen. We've watched children grow to adults. I'm not sure, but don't know how many companies or industries that become a part of so many families. The Coach House couldn't have made it for two and a half decades without the support from families, especially families like the Bohannons. Uh, there's no place more special than here. I think when you come here, you feel like you're really having a special occasion, whether you are or aren't. So it's a, it's a grand house, and uh, um, as I say, Kurt and Jane are really, are really family to us. So it's a warm place, the food is good, and uh, lots of wonderful memories here. We work in this kitchen every day with an eye toward the boundaries while maintaining the principles of our craft. When it comes together, we still see magic and art being born. Maybe that's why people have stuck with us for so long. Hopefully that reputation will keep them coming back for the next 25 years. And so we'll continue in the small kitchen, teaching, sometimes preaching, but always cooking, it's what we do.